All right, so when I talk to people about reading books, they say I haven't actually read a book since like maybe kindergarten. Like after that, I probably like pretended to read a book in high school, but I've never actually read a book. So for those people, I recommend this book, which is, it has a very long title. It might be discouraging just because of the title, but it is the Evelyn Wood Seven Day Speed Reading and Learning Program. Now this book's really cool because I wanted to read a speed reading book, and I wanted to actually read it and not have like an audiobook or something like that, because uh, obvious, re obvious reasons, but one of which was as you read, there are points in the chapter where it's like, okay, start timing yourself now, and then it'll be at the end of the chapter, they'll be like, okay, stop the timer and calculate how many words you read per minute, because they actually took the time to count out the words and it just makes it much easier to actually keep track of how fast you're reading something. So at different points in the book, you can go back to those chapters, reread them again, and be like, okay, now I'm at 300 words per minute, now 400. And this book actually says that the average person reads maybe like 300 per minute, and you can get up to about 2,000 per minute, which is essentially two seconds per page. So like four seconds in your turning the page. And they say, like, people do that in the libraries, and they're just like, people think you're crazy. They're like, you're not actually reading. Um, but if you're sitting there for, like, 20 minutes, uh, you'll finish, like, a 200-page book. And it's just like, damn, like, you're a... Oh, my God. Anyway, um, that's pretty cool. So the other thing it talks about in this book is uh, basically being a student and test-taking. So it says, something that's really cool is they say not to take notes, like, linearly. Um, I don't know if I'm writing the right way in the camera. Yes, this book was $1 at some point, not when I got it, of course. Um, anyway, they say not to write notes linear linearly, but to do sort of like an X on the page, or at least like an X from one side, and then just, like, make branches off of that line, and basically draw, like, this really cool diagram like as you go just fill it in and then it's sort of like if you know how what mental I don't know what it's called mental mansions I think where you think of something in your mind and you connect it to a physical space because humans are good at remembering places like you remember what your elementary school looked like or your high school or your house it's very easy for you to picture that in your mind so if you place uh, things to remind you of what you're learning within your house inside of your mind you can basically walk through your house and remember like oh on my left that's my kitchen and in my kitchen is like the s method and there's just like a giant s standing there um and that would be something from this book so basically the most important thing is don't read every word in your head like when you see a word you have to recognize it for what it is if you see the word dog don't think in your head dog do basically the same thing as when you actually see a dog you just like see it, you're like oh that's a dog but you don't have to say it to yourself you just look and you instantly know and essentially if you're able to look at like a chunk of words at once you'll instantly know what it means and then you move on to the next and there's a couple different methods. Uh, the first they talk about is underlining. And they say underlining is good to a point, but you can never beat, um, say, 800 words per minute. That'll be about your max with underlining. But you could get up to 2,000 if you're doing some of these other methods. So the next up would be like an S method. There's also a method where you underline, and then you like switch to your middle finger, and you like kind of skate around the page, which is cool. Um, you could also, like, sort of, like, crawl down the page with your fingers. And then, like, the most advanced method is to do a question mark. So you basically swipe in a question mark the entire page, and you're, like, so good at, like, instantly recognizing everything that you actually read it. And they say to do, like, uh, five pass-throughs if you're doing it this way, and you'll pick up on more things every time. But essentially, your retention will be around, like, 80% once you're done with five pass-throughs of, like, very high-quality question marks, two seconds per page. And you'll be going so fast that they say page turning sort of limits you. So the way to do it is to take your left hand, if you're reading, if you're right-handed, use your left hand and, like, put it, like, around the book and then like turn the page from there 
So, I mean, to the, if you're to the point where turning the page is slowing down your reading, I mean, you're, you're pretty much good. So this was a very good book for a first read. It was 200 pages. They say to finish it in like seven days. I think that's around how long it'll take at like 300 or 400 words per minute. But basically just by the uh, second or third chapter, you'll be so good at just like underlining and never going back. You don't like reread. That's a big one too. Don't reread. Just go underline and the, your finger is mostly just a pacer. So like you're keeping the pace of your finger. Even if your mind is a little behind, just like go along with it. Um, go a little faster than you're comfortable with and then eventually uh, reading at a little bit slower speed but still faster than normal will become comfortable. And what they say and what I found was I did increase my reading speed by 50% after the first uh, two chapters. So that was really cool. So definitely, if you're going to start reading, I would recommend reading a book such as this um, for one of your first books. 200 pages, it'll take you about seven days if you do an hour a day. Um, unless you're really pro and you just like instantly master, master the uh, question mark, then it'll be maybe like 15 minutes. So... Definitely read that.